गाइज टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द प्री कैंसरस स्टेट नाउ वाई द टर्म प्री कैंसरस दिस इज बिकॉज द ओरल कैंसर्स आर समटाइम्स प्रिसेडेड विद क्लिनिकली विजिबल लिजेंस विच आर नॉन कैंसरस टू बिगिन विद हाउ एवर इट इज वाइडली अंडरस्टूड दैट नीदर डू ऑल द प्री कैंसरस लिजेंस प्रोग्रेस टू अ कैंसर नॉर ऑल द कैंसर्स नेसेसरिली ओरिजिनेट फ्रॉम सच लिजेंस the term cancer means where we have uncontrolled proliferation of abnormal cells in the body this was originated from a greek word carcinoma which means crab the oral precancerous state is divided into two broad groups the precancerous lesions and the precancerous conditions a precancerous lesion is defined as a morphologically altered tissue in which cancer is more likely to occur than in its apparently normal counterpart the examples include leukoplakia erythroplakia stomatitis nicotinae and chronic candidiasis the precancerous condition is defined as the generalized state of the body which is associated with a significantly increased risk of cancer the examples include OSMF oral submucous fibrosis syphilis oral lichen planus and sideropenic dysphagia it is important to note that all these precancerous lesions and conditions produce a wide variety of clinical and histopathological features but the most important criteria for evaluating their malignant potential is the microscopic study of epithelial dysplasia we will understand more about the pathophysiology with an example of a malignant transformation first of all we consider a normal tissue in which cells are dividing in a controllable manner and they also have a normal blood supply seeing the cells in a different view these normal cells can undergo transformation the red cells that i'll draw are supposed to be cancerous cells this change from the normal cells to the cancerous cells this can be due to any genetic mutations any infections or any environmental factors this whole transformation process of the cells into the abnormal cells is called as dysplasia with the further progression of the disease a neoplasia forms which means a new growth or a tumor this growth is ceaseless uncontrolled uncoordinated and purposeless in this view we can see that the cells stack one upon each other in a, in an uncoordinated manner we must know that cancerous cells possess two characteristics autonomy and anaplasia where ana autonomy refers to independence from the normal cellular control and anaplasia is the loss of differentiation and organization now as the disease it progresses the tissue converts to an invasive neoplasia in which new blood vessels are formed more uncontrolled cellular division is there in an uncoordinated way the cancer cells they finally move into the blood vessels and through this they may spread to other parts of the body showing malignancy seeing this in a different view we can see that the bottom layer of the dividing cells invade the blood vessels showing a malignant transformation depending upon the degree and extent to which the dysplastic changes have developed in a lesion the malignant potential of a precancerous lesion can be predicted the key features of epithelial dysplasia are the first is nuclear hyperchromatism that is large and deeply stained nuclear second is cellular pleomorphism 
in which altered size and shape of cells is present. The third one is poikilokaryosis or the division of the nucleus without the division of the cytoplasm resulting in multinucleated cells. The next one is the loss of polarity of the basal cells and the last is the increased nucleocytoplasmic ratio. The epithelial dysplasia may be divided into three categories namely mild, moderate and severe. The severe dysplasia in a lesion means it has more chances of undergoing malignant transformation. This was all about introduction to precancerous state. Thank you.